Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the things that I get asked regularly, and I got that question today, is about Windows 10 security uh, versus Windows 11. Um, of course, Windows 11 is really um, kind of advertised as a um, you know operating system that is more secure to TPM module and stuff like that. And of course, a lot of the computers on Windows 10, uh, TPM is, is either not found or it's not turned on in the BIOS. So um, this is something that it is, um, of course, for some people, eh, kind of wondering, that is it less secure? Is it dangerous to use Windows 10? It might seem, by the way, that Microsoft tries to advertise Windows 11. Uh, but honestly, Windows 10 is fine and secure. You know, they talk about security. We got to keep in mind that the basics of Windows 11, still a lot of the code is Windows 10 underneath. There are some changes, absolutely. And there are some options of how they actually, you know, could use some of the security features of uh, more advanced processors and, of course, the TPM chip. You know, TPM can also be used in Windows 10, and a lot of you out there have a Windows 10 machine that does have a TPM chip. So what that means is that you can still benefit from that. Any, any computer with Windows 10 and a TPM chip or a TPM functionality that's available um, is that means you know some um, services and some apps can if they decide to use TPM for security uh, can activate it and work uh, with it in Windows 10 as much as in Windows 11 you know the only <clears throat> difference really is mostly that Windows 11 wants you to have one uh, to because some of the the apps and some of the security features will eventually be TPM only available. That means you will have to have that TPM 2.0 because some of the security, advanced security features that they could implement will use it. But if you have TPM 2.0 on a Windows 10 machine, they can also take advantage of it. And it's not just in Windows that this works. It's also um, with, you know, third-party apps or, or, or all sorts of things. You know, when you go online with um, your bank account, um, there's a possibility that through the browser at some point those security features can be used. A lot of people <clears throat> have the impression that, well, you know, nobody needs that security. Yes, we do. And that that is, there's no question there. Uh, people do banking. The people do a lot of online shopping security is very important and people do need that security the other thing that a lot of people think is well you know nobody will know how to activate it but that's the thing all of the security features are not visible to the user in general they are mentioned they are there but when you actually use them you don't even know most of the time that you're using these security features it's not like you have to turn on a switch or you have to know what to do it's automatically used to enhance the security. <clears throat> so these are things that you don't have to bother them really um, or, or you know care about that much. But overall, Windows 10 is as secure. Personally, I don't see what really could uh, be a big problem in security with Windows 10. It is secure. It works great as long as you have the security updates and all. Um, and if you have the TPM chip on your PC or a more advanced processor, well, even Windows 10 can use these advanced features. It's not really a unique thing for Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.